theatre is dangerous, theatre is risky, or this is what theatre should be. I love it when I go to the theatre and I think, oh my God, you can't say that. I think that people do have an appetite to see theatre that actually makes them sit up in their seat. Uh, we've come together uh, to create a work um, that is based on a play, a theatre work we wrote years ago called Who's Afraid of the Working Class. It's been almost 20 years since that first production and so we're regrouping uh, at the behest of the Arts Centre to re-examine the themes that we looked at in the original play. And in, in many ways the same questions we were asking then uh, are relevant around inequality in class but also I think the, uh, the question of terror and fear is, has become a dominant question for us. And very quickly we realised that the conversation now was a more global one. Where originally we were talking about the politics of Melbourne under the Kennett government, we're now talking about global politics. We're trying to figure out where, whether there is or why there isn't um, a resistance movement to what we all see as um, the shortcomings and injustices of our local world, but also the entire world. As a nation, we seem to have real issues with, with race, with refugees and with class. We see ourselves as classless. We see ourselves as raceless. Um, but that's not the reality, and so we've been been interrogating that the perception of ourselves as, as uh, very open, democratic people, but that rubs against the reality of how we experience life in the city. The spine of the work, if you like, uh, got excited about the notion of the train carriage and the, the train, because we, so many of us use it, the, the train to come in and out of our city. And it's also on the train that you can have classes, uh, people of different cultures, uh, people of different worlds kind of butting up against each other. I think great work comes out of a sustained process of conversation and exploration. And especially with a work like this, which is, you know, it's five voices in the same work. That kind of collaboration is a, a nuanced and delicate process that simply takes time. What you need are theatre companies, um, uh, spaces, publishers, to commit to Australian stories, to, to commit to the stories that we as artists want to tell about our world. I think audience are most excited when they see a great play that comes from the world they know. You know, when we first did Who's Afraid of the Working Class in the late 90s, the Arts Centre seemed a distant kind of institution that we as practising writers in Melbourne didn't really know or understand how it worked how work took place here, it feels like it's really shifted now. And so people like us are bringing work to this kind of venue. That's really exciting. You want to be brave and you want to be provocative in terms of saying theatre is theatre has a history of daring its audience and I think an audience for theatre wants to be dared. Or I, I, I know that for myself. How ma marvellous it is when it actually rattles you, when it challenges you, when you, you think, oh, I'm, I'm um, really agitated by that. That's what theatre is. People love that no matter who they are.